Bro, come on, that's not fair. 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 Fix that, fix that, fix that, fix that. All right, boom, boom. Yo, 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 what it is, what it do. Um, My name is Elijah Mike, man, and I am back on the mic. Mike, look, bro. Um, we're about to play Alan Wake 2 Part 2. A lot happened that last one. It was just crazy, man. The the fat man with the small wee wee got up, bro. Um, Yeah. Crazy. I said a lot of B word in that in that video. I realized that when I was Yeah, it was it was a lot. But um <clears throat> yeah. So we're about to get into Alan Wake 2 part two. Let's see what's going on because that was crazy. That that was crazy. It was giving me the evil within vibes, you know, like when I used to watch the Corey Kinchin vids, bro, like the evil within vibes. That's what it was giving me. I'm not gonna gap to you. Um, but it's pretty fire, man. So let's get into part two of Alan Wake. Have a heart, but he still got up. Oh God! The page this... predicted all of it. Facts. It helped me fight him. Uh -huh. oh, oh, oh. He he just disappeared. What the hell is going on here? We know. need to figure that out if we're gonna do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. The hell did he drop? Oh, we were talking about a dead man. Right that sheriff. Things got crazy. Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Yeah, bro. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. Mm -hmm. One more mystery. We'll talk about a dead man. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but. We both know that's bullshit. Oh, God. This was <coughs> supernatural. Well, I'm Very. glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. This is this the, the victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Hmm. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. All right, look around for clues. There's one of the pages on the floor. Damn! Oh, yeah, he did as hell. These pages are important. Shit. Breaker dropped one before he disappeared. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Okay. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Okay. Okay. So what's on the case, boy? What's going on? Let me see. The cult of the tree. We got. All right. So we got Casey. The cult of the trees performing rituals to create monsters. Casey. Wow. Oh. That's the cult goal. Cult ritual. What is it? It's body organs. Mm -hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. Texas they may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. Writing part of the ritual. Nine girls only victims to become a monster. Victim of cold killing. King and monster. No, is this one? Who's involved? <sighs> Bro, where's brother go? Okay. Nine girl only victim to become a monster. Why? Okay. Oh. Nigga. Why does it do that, bro? Okay, let me on do this. Nope. Nope. Obviously I don't know what the frick I'm doing right now. Like I'm trying to put it somewhere. Let me see. Uh, who's involved? Hmm. It's not there. Can y'all y'all help me or something, nigga? I've been trying to put it somewhere. It's not even let me. Oh my gosh, this is about to piss me off. Okay, so 
occult gold? Okay. Okay, alright. Whatever. Y'all just weird. Figure out where nine go went. Alright, cool. Let's go do that. Oh, okay, there we go. Nine go attacked us. A dead man turned into a monster. That's all I needed, bro. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. Uh -huh. There's no rational explanation. Uh -huh. This is the case we must solve. Okay. Now we got two new things for later. Saga was attacked. Got the causal link. He was there to a taken the creature of darkness. <laughs> Okay. Let's take it to Sood. I can go down to the overlap. Finding the way will be difficult. Okay. What else? What else we got, bro? What else we got to find where he went? Let me see the cases. Cold stashes. We got something else. Okay. Case closed. The cold of the tree is behind these murders. Okay. This case just became much more complicated. Hmm. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cold case. Exciting. Exciting? Bro, what? Alright. <clears throat> so let's go over here. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Uh -huh. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Oh shit. We we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Yeah, ladies here. Did you here. get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. Mm. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. How do we get out Can of you here? call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Where's our this this ours? Yeah, Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright oh, Falls one. case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Well, you got you better let that Think let that hair go, bro. The, the pages haven't oh. been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Did you check out the town, Anderson? Just getting my bearings. Ready to go? Waiting on you. Let's go. Let's go. I need to come clean, Anderson. Come clean my way. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. Oh, shit. He was chasing a writer, mm -hmm. Alan Wake. Mm -hmm. yep. Tell me, mention him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Mm -hmm. Fragments of prose describing murders. Hmm. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. Okay. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Well, thank Next you. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Oh, God. Oh, God. Whose van is this?
return to the hearts. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Oh, Thanks. That's why. Let's start looking for Nightingale where it was killed. I'm following the writer you, of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. Uh -huh. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. Mm. Okay. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. Uh -huh. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Who are these niggas? Hey, hello there. Well, How are you folks doing? Those restricted areas, I am. Hello. Damn. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Uh -huh. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? Should I even be telling you this stuff? Like... How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The no. Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's mm. sauna, sauna ya vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. Mm. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. Mm. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. Nigga, what? My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Uh -huh. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. Okay. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Hulla, Karjalan piirakka. Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. Mm. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. We done? Cool. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. Uh, they grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Pretty can't sure. Can't run through a garbage can. I'm pretty okay, sure. We're done for now. The things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. Yeah, that was I weird. I had the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm, he was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Yeah. Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Oh, it's so dark. Oh, oh it's crows. I don't know what. Not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Our crime scene's drowning. Uh huh. I never minded rain. Feels like there goes a symbol. Oh. No sign it. of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Okay. Alright. Of course. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye. Has to be something else. There we go. What's Bare that? feet. Nightingale. Interesting. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. Alright now. Let me get my Glocky out. No, you're not gonna let me. Alright. 
When can I like place my Glocky somewhere? We got footprints right here. Ooh, it's getting darker. Ooh. Yeah, chill out, bro. I don't like that noise. I don't like that noise at all. Yeah, bro, what the f what y'all got going on, bro? What y'all got going on, bro? The tracks lead into the water. Oh, shit. Where'd you go from here? Can we not go in the water? <laughs> oh, shit. I can feel something. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. <sighs> My cocky up, bro. I only got, yeah, reload that. Play that. Yeah, the jump scares in this game be so inappropriate. Uh, and unnecessary, I must say. Oh. Where we going, bro? Over here? Oh, I don't like this, bro. Oh, I don't like this. Why well, these aren't the same tracks that were here before? They're headed into the tree, not out of it. You can talk a flashlight. Okay, that didn't scare me. Flashlight burn the dark stuff away. That didn't, that didn't scare me, bro. It was covering and the fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga. As if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. I don't know if I wanna. It says we we can still be on. We know where the witch's hut is because I've already I've already looked to, at the witch's hut. I know where it is. I think. I just gotta go back this way. Oh god, bro. Them little jump scares be too much. This is the witch's hut. Yeah. What the fuck was that? I know y'all just saw that, right? Anderson. Thought I saw something in the woods. Uh-huh. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. The fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. Ooh. This fuse is busted. Shit. What's that noise, bruh? Some behind me. Some behind me, bro. Some behind me, bro. No, nah, turn this shit back on. What you doing? I don't like this, bro. I don't fuck with you, sir. There's about to be some shit in here. It's the fact, because I explored over here before. I want to break. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. I don't play that. The break room is where you can save your part. Oh, yes. Quick save, nigga.
manual say? Oh, we can. Oh, we got a manual say. Okay, bitch. Let's get right there. Yeah, hurry up. Two hours and twenty-seven minutes played. All right. Okay. Hopefully, nothing can come in. Another page. Where? Making progress. Where? Where? Where you see a page? Where you see a page? There's a page somewhere? I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop. Caldera Street Station. The threshold. Like a doorway. Okay. Leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree. Which is ladle? Okay. Where's the page? It said cabinet, right? Yeah, I'm staying on it. Chill out. Okay. Get that. Oh, it's a page right here because of it. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. A smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of mm -hmm. ritual. Yeah. What is a ritual? She squinted. Save the smudge. Or is on the heart. Doesn't make sense. What you mean? Damn. What? If it don't go right there, where does it go? Right mm. here? Mm -hmm. To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Okay. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Mm hmm Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? Let's see. Witch's ladle. Cowering over Saga. Mm. Watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words, the smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory, the words she had read on the page. Mm -hmm. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. Okay. Profiling Nightingale. The heart. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The just leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Okay, the heart is where? Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Wild. They played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. Okay. I need to check the general store for the heart. Damn. We gotta go over there? Casey! I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. Damn! Chill out. Chill out. I don't like that. General store. Alright, cool. At least they... What the fuck was that? 
Ooh, I swear, if this light go out, I'm gonna be pissed. That door wasn't open to the left. Oh! It's fucking. Oh. Y'all, if they jump scare me again, I'm gonna lose my shit. Ten seconds later. Just a second. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is that? Burn that nigga, bro. Oh! Back the fuck up. Die, nigga. A cultist. A monster. Like Nightingale. What is wrong with that? Who's that shit? Bro, this crazy. This game is. Oh my god. Oh, it's the heart. Oh my god. The text on the heart is clearer now. The way across on the Legible. far side of the mirror. Alright. I feel like I recognize this. Ooh. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. Hey, get this shit back out. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm scared because they doing a lot of jump scares, bro. Uh, hey, somebody out there? Say something. I'm safe under the light. So. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> well, thanks for the in light. City in America, I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. Where's the Witch's Ladle? Like this. Let's find a station. Which is sign, which is later. Where is it? What the fuck? Nigga, you know. Oh! Yeah. Nice hit, boy. Fuck, bro. That was crazy. I used way too many bullets just now. This is later over here, right? Yeah. It's not over here? Where is it? Oh, 
wasting so many damn bullets on them, bro. Girl, what you crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. No, don't show me shit. for this Please give me some ammo, bro. Okay, Saga. Please Going give me some solo. Please give me some ammo, bro. I need some ammo, bro. I wasted so many damn bullets. Logan? Logan! Mom. Where are you? Hold up, bro. What the fuck was that? I'm not going there. Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. Yeah, you, you imagine things, alright. We're not going that water though. I'm telling you that now. I don't have no lights. Ooh. What was that? What was that? Y'all almost had me on that one. I ain't gonna cap. It's about, it's about to be something. I already know. Y'all about to sow some shit. I am not ready for this crap, bro. I don't got no freaking ammo. I love. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of y'all with that shit. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. Left or right? Shit. We're going right. The writer was writing again. Okay. He's here, Nightingale. Yeah, Nightingale might kill us. I ain't gonna lie to you. We ain't got shit. I need to give me some ammo, bro. Uh... Danger. Who is that? That's Alan. It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. Is that my fucking hair? That is my hair. It's on the back of my neck, bro. Like, getting the hell out of me right now. What is going on? Oh, no. Turn that shit back on. What you doing? Y'all. Why is there a lake? Ooh, ammo. Nightingale's patch. Ooh, batteries. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. We need that in our life. Badge, okay. Um, so we're about to fight. We got a battery pack. We don't have enough ammo for him. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. You sound a lot closer than you think. I think. Alright, stop walking slow, bro. The slower you walk. Where are we at? The freak? I'm bad. Where are we? Where are we? Whoa, that was weird. That was so weird. All right, bro. Chill out.
We're definitely about to fight, though. Too damn big. Oh shit! Damn! Woo! I can't see him. Got him now. Damn. I didn't know I was gonna die. Like I ain't got no, I ain't got enough ammo for that shit, bro. I don't got enough ammo for that. Got him. Damn. Uh... Oh shit! Come on, fight him up. Come, fight him up. Yeah. Burn him, nigga. Burn him. Okay, so it's. I'm trying to hit him in the freaking chest, but it won't let me hit him in the. Oh, we ain't got no bullets for this shit, bro. I said I definitely said dodge, and she still got hit, bro. She still got hit, bro. Make it make sense. It don't. It don't, don't it? I don't got enough ammo for this shit, bro. This nigga, I'm on fucking earth. Oh, shit. Where the fuck he at? He moved fast as hell. No! Let's fuck up. I said, Doc, why do you get, why do you continue to get hit, bro? I'm dodging. I said, dodge, and you dodge right into the nigga. Come on, bring your bitch up, bro. I'm about to get pissed, bro. As soon as I get up, this nigga hits me again. This is about to be a long ass fucking fight. Got him! Finally! Where are you at? Can we shoot him now? Can we kill him now? Bro, come on, that's not fair. 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 I ain't got no life for this nigga, bro. I ain't got no ammo for him. Uh, whoa! I ain't got no ammo. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ain't no ammo around, bro. Ain't no ammo around, bro. Ooh. Oh, there's ammo. Look at that. Woo. Reload, 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 reload. Where does where does little punk go? Yet. Oh. Shit. It's not fair, bro. Get away. Thank God. Gotta move. Now. Where? Where are we going? Run! This way? This way? Okay. 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 I swear, if this man is chasing us, that's not fair, bro. Whoa! Whoa! Choice. We gotta run. We can't fight this nigga. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Grab it. Ooh, I can't see. Ooh. Ooh. He behind me. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Damn it. We got a lot of room. 
Nigga, how the fuck did I just get hit? Move your ass. You're over here dying and shit. Can't even find this nigga. Where you at? Oh my god. fact that I, I beat the first part already and you gotta start all the way freaking over l excuses right hand on the bible god can strike me down if i'm lying that motherfucker's cheating take my word what yep girl Shit, that was something right there. Damn. I did. Good. I don't know where the fuck that, that man hit me in another dimension. I can't see y'all. Come on. Back up, boy. Shit. Yes. Yes. Let's fucking go. <sighs> My gosh. Ridiculous work right there. Are you okay? No. It is Alan. It is Alan. It got out with my face scratch. Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's he's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before. Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name. Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been. Yes, Wake? sir. Where did you come from? You've been Wake. missing for 13 years. Jeez. 13. The next day. All right. Um. Yeah, we about to do two. I was gonna just do one chapter but i looked it up bro it's about like 19 freaking chapters in this freaking game and i was just like you know no nah, we're not doing that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start doing two chapters a video you know might as well 
you know, double it up, give you more of the story and, you know, not make it a super long series because I don't think anybody wants more than 19 videos. I mean, I love y'all, but oh, that's a lot. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. Crazy. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What mm. kind of case is this? This is some shit. That's what that is. Hold on. Are y'all telling me I'm about to fight again? Y'all wild if y'all make me fight again. For oh my god. Dip, nigga. Fuck no. Two little bitch ass one, bro. Oh, you one of them niggas? Yeah, die, nigga. The fuck you want? What's up? What's up? What's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? Where your bitch ass go? Where you going? Oh. Ooh, hell no. Damn, I wasted so much damn bullets on that nigga. Uh, fuck. I can't see him. I'm out of bullets. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I can't see. He might or something. He mall something. <laughs> Nigga, we fighting a fucking wolf? <laughs> Nigga, we're fighting a wolf. Like, what is this game? Hey, I see you. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He moving kind of fast. Oh, shit! Hey, what the fuck was that? What is going on? Give me this. Miss me. Oh shit, you can't hit him? I didn't know I could do that. I didn't even know I could hit this nigga, bro. Even the animals are turning into monsters. This reminds me of like Resident Evil type shit. Cause we going to the car, my nigga. Okay, we almost there, we almost there, we almost there. About to be at the murder site, I think. Oh, murder site. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think we in the clear. I think we are in the clear, y'all. Yo, let's get the hell out of here. We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. the freak going on over here? What 
Warning. Activity detected. A W E. W E. Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. What's an A W E? Casey, what exactly does the FDC do? <laughs> After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. Uh -huh. Presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? Yeah, that's interesting. What's good? Ready to go? Yeah, let's get it. I have some stuff though, but I don't think that really matters at this point. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Huh. Hey, Mom, before you see anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. What? Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Mm. Jesus, David. Mm. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. Dead as fuck. I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Want to say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Hmm. Something about the whole situation is weird, bro. Like, her life, it's really weird. Are they drinking in a sink? It's been, 13. Gone a long time. it's been 13 no. years, bro. No. They'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Bro, why are you shaking? Yeah. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying... To remember, it's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like, a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. The hell is going on? Oh shit. 
Bro, he look like John Wick right now. Like, what's going on? In between. What the hell? In between with Mr. Late Night. Invitation. Initiation one. Fuck. Was I in a talk show tonight? Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. What the hell? Had what? I already done the show? Was that a recording? What the hell? What the hell? Whoa. Whoa. Yo, what is going on? This is crazy. The, the graphics on this crazy. Like they In between with Mr. Door. It's so good to see you, Alan. Uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. Uh. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story wait this isn't right i i haven't written anything he's so humble okay you got me good prank very funny but yeah i uh, sad to say i uh, i've not written this I, i'd remember if i'd written a book right or maybe it was written by your evil double Play, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. Mm. Very meta indeed. You see, initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written that's right alex casey is in this book as well uh, i guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show the joke's on me but isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction no but seriously i found the the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating it reminded me of the matrix i mean the writer is so i'm saying but he's just like he's neo trapped there and he projects himself out to this dark dream of new york through the story he is writing uh, like astral projection did i get that right yeah that's exactly right go on i should be taking notes here this is great stuff note to that other alan wake in that room writing this as we speak are we all in your story alan No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. Mm. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of 
my entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. You have to expect me to disappear once this scene ends. Yo, what? Oh my gosh. Nah, bro, this is fire, bro. This game fire. Hello? We don't have any weapons. We all the stomachs. Oh, Something's not right here. Yeah, I all. needed to get home to Alice. Yeah, bro, this looks crazy. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Uh huh. Maybe Toya missed the door. Which door? Okay, it's not that one. What the hell? This is the dressing. Old gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Six six five. The neighborhood of the be neighbor of the beast. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mister Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? My interpretation of many worlds, Dr. Castle Darling. This is. Wait, do y'all see that? It doesn't show his face. It just shows if that's that's creepy. Input clear. What? Hey! I got it. I got it. I got it. I, I think this. I've been locked in. Anybody? Fuck. Now got I have it. to find the code myself. Yeah, I figured. It. Yeah, that's what the code. Great. Is. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? That was a him. message? That was him. Impossible to say. Yeah, my hair is uh, like tingling right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is a lot. I gotta walk because I don't know what's about to pop up. They love to do them freaking jump scares and shit. What's in here? Open that shit. Let me see. Shit. Days. Freak is going on, bro. And this a clipboard for mapping out a story. Okay. And this On index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Okay. So we gotta write to escape. I 
use my writing to project myself out of this room. Like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room is my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again with the talk show. Go on the TV. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? Fine. I know it can be an awkward question to the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he? Look the part to you? He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you've voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. The they're their own thing. They, they've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I... I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. <laughs> Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. Mm. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window. My own reflection haunted the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Mm. Okay. Great. So the, the table light. Job, okay. Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Should we gotta do this thing again, bro? There's a lamp. This, this one, right? It's a dial, eh? There's a lamp right here, right? Oh, shit. Five. Six six five, so there. Set a lamp though. What was the lamp? Oh. 
I just guessed that. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Okay, calls. Hello? What? What the frick? Ah, no day! There you are, Tom! Tom? Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Who the frick are you? Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> what the hell is this? Of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> what? What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a man's. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Agree? <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. Okay. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Oh, shit. Janitor's key. Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. Okay. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. Bruh, it's like I'm even nice, bro. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. Okay. The janitor was a bit out there. But still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Oh, shit. Backstage. Oh, we gotta go right. So we gotta go straight, go straight, turn right to the basement. Okay. Okay, I don't know what's about to happen. This way. I'm going to turn the light on. That's what he said. Gosh, it's dark. Mm. And this is real bad. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool light. for bringing light to the darkness. Okay. We definitely need that. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. This is very scary. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. What the? F the light carved out something new from the darkness. Hell no! You better get that light. The fuck? This is absolutely wild.
Which way am I going though? Exit. I didn't. I didn't come from that area. I didn't come from this area. This is a new exit. Okay. Yeah, this is a new way. Okay. Whoa. This is creepy. The dark place wants to drown me. Shit. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. A danger and a horror real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. Whoa. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep Whoa, trying. Why does it keep doing that? I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer to the map and the key and the compass. It's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean and a lake that's not a lake. All right, guys. So that's gonna do it, man. This is a very interesting, 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 interesting story, bro. Alan Wake is top tier, bro. Top tier, I'm telling you. But yeah, um, my name is Elijah Mike. I'm logging off the mic, and man, until next time, bro. Peace. I'm a legit individual. I spent a long way from the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs>